Uh, here's a couple of cars. Uh, I believe typically English cars. And uh, this one here is the Austin Somerset. Nice red color, red wheels. The grill, which looks like it's been touched up by someone. Silver paint. But the body paint looks original. Rear bumper, I'm not too sure of. There's a splotch of paint, model paint here on the base. So I know someone was painting around it or somehow got paint on the base plate. Number 161, Dinky Toys, Austin Somerset, made in England, Meccano Limited. This one was in the line from 1954 to 1960. And this one here is the Morris Oxford. I don't know why, but for some reason that's one of my favorite dinky toys too, the Morris Oxford. And this one here is a two-tone, but still has a small lettering on the uh, tin plate base, which according to the book I was looking at, denotes it as a 40G, the old numbering system. And that was from 1954 to 1957, and then they changed the base plate. And, uh, cars after that were numbered 159. This is uh, definitely played with. It's one thing about the dinkies though, they can they can be played with, they can have nicks on them, and a few chips, and they still look good on display. Whereas corgis, I have to pretty well have them uh, close to as mint as possible. Inkies I, I accept as play worn and in a way they look better rather than brand new out of the box. Kind of got a life to them. It's a nice little car, a couple of nice little cars. Typical dinky English. And um you shrink this one down, you'll have the Morris Minor, which I imagine the Morris Minor came from. <laughs>